Hello everybody, this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel in EssenceOfMe.com. I'm coming on today. You gotta forgive my voice. I've had an extremely long day, but um, I, I'm going to do this video because I received a package in the mail. Yes, this is another video for I Love Swaps. Yes. I love swaps. Um, I told you all in my cast off crew video this week that I was working on a project for someone and um, and so we were swapping boxes and so now I'm going to open her box. I'm also doing this because I, um, I love to do it and that also allows me to experience opening the box with the person that sent the box to me. And I have not looked in. I did bust open the side of it and literally bust it open because I could smell coffee coming from the box. Yes. So, you all have to forgive my voice. I tried to give myself a little bit of light. Now I'm getting a shadow across here because I'm using my webcam. I honestly cannot. <laughs> I just can't deal with that. Okay? So, here we go. Today was so tiring, but here we go. So if you want to see what I have in this box, kick my butt into gear. <laughs> if you want to see what I have in this box, stick around. And um, if not, I hope to see you on the next video. Um, I'm just going to get to unpacking and, and opening my box. So here we go is the box with the little Spider-Man. Have you seen those commercials? Well, if you, yeah, in the U.S. So the first thing, oh, and here's the inside. Now, I think in the last video, someone made mention of the lighting. When I'm in this room, my lighting is not that good, and it's evening, and so it's dark. I don't get natural light. But what I do is I take pictures, and I will put the link to the, um... To the post in the description box so you can see the pictures and the pictures have better light because I have a flash so you will be able to, and some of the stuff it really doesn't matter but I think for the yarn in order for you to really get an idea of what it looks like you've got to do it with light so I'm letting you know up front okay so here we go and this is my first swap ever with someone in the U.S. How cool is that, right? Okay, so here we go. Here's number one. And this one is a cow swap. <gasps> oh. Okay, I'm going to show you. What? Now, what is absolutely hilarious is our cows, the one that I made her and the one that she made me matches. Oh my gosh. Look. Look. And it's, um, it's very soft. This is a chunky, very, very soft. And I'll hold it up. Oh. Okay, wait. <laughs> As you all know, look. I love purple. Purple and turquoise are my favorite colors. Oh, it's so soft. It has purple and different shades. And this color is not necessarily a black, but maybe. See, you can't really see. I'll take a picture. I'll definitely take a picture. Awesome. This is with, I saw something with this stitch. Um, I think it's called, is it a drop stitch? Somebody tell me. See, it's a knitted, it's knitted cowl. But see here, it reminds me of um a long stitch done in crochet. I think it's called a drop stitch. And... 
OMG. Here we are um, um, asked to do a cowl, to make a cowl, and the person can give suggestions and you can look at their lists. Like they may make a, um, a list tagged with a particular thing for you to get an idea of what their aesthetic the aesthetic is or what they like. And so you do that and then you're asked to do, I guess like a skein of yarn or something like that. Look at this. <laughs> this is Madeline Tosh. Let me tell you something. I was at, okay, let me read it. 100% super watch merino wool called Duchess. It's a DK weight, 225 yards. I was at, oh, I can't wait to use this. Um, Focus. I was at the yarn shop the other day and the women were standing around talking about this yarn, about how hard it is to get the yarn. And I'm almost certain this is what it is. I was just listening and knitting and because I have, I literally, this is my first time. It will be my first time using it. I've never had this yarn before, but just hearing them, like this woman was almost heartbroken because she made um, a piece for her daughter and her daughter didn't like the color and the woman had waited like months to get the yarn. So I'm so excited. This always makes me want to buy a new pattern. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. But there's more in the box. Okay, how does it feel? I don't know why I keep smelling it because I'm smelling coffee come out of the box. This is, oh, that's a good shot of the light. Dark, rich, purple. Um, um Well, not even a purple, almost a burgundy. But it, it the light is causing it to look like undertones of purple and maybe even like a gray. It matches the cowl. Oh my goodness. Oh, Thai lime and Chile cashews. Oh, cashews are my favorite. I've never had the Thai chili and lime. Um, candies. I think I've told you all I love all types. I like gummy bears and so these will be yummy, yummy. Oh, this is sweet and sour. I have to keep these for my kids. And oh my favorite. I literally have one of these almost every week. I love hot tamales. I love hot tamales. Oh. oh. Knitters, I was just looking at this because now it's available, I believe, in Kindle. It has a project for each year month of the year oh my goodness okay let me um oh february wait january oh my now look it says an errand sweat i don't know about january <laughs> okay this is interesting because when you look inside, it looks like it's written like a book. I haven't, let me read the back. That would help. Elizabeth Zimmerman once wrote, so please bear with me and put up with my opinionated, nay, sometimes cankerous attitude. I feel strongly about knitting. Perhaps her passionate opinions as well as her love of wool craft and her delightful style Hark back to her English upbringing or her long residence in the Wisconsin woods. In any case, this busy knitter, as she calls herself, is one of the most charming and informative, as well as uninventive, not inventive, but uninventive, her word, knitter, authors, anywhere. This book gives full scope of her tireless imagination through a year's worth of projects, fitted to the season, moods, and needs of a knitter's, of knitter's, who would like to design their own work. Um, have you ever like, I've not recorded my yarn chapters crack yet. Crack, I can't talk, my brain is fried. 
my yarn crafters chat yet and one of the books that I recently listened to while I was knitting her cow was The Alchemist and it is really making me think about something from that <gasps> oh <laughs> Twizzlers <laughs> this is my second favorite game strawberry black raspberry and cherry I've never seen these before she got me all these snacks. If only she know, knew that the Lord, a moment on the lips is a lifetime on the hips. Okay, and I'm smelling this coffee, but I don't see it yet. Here's my next item. Oh! Okay, um, I'm all screaming. You all can't see. This is a little project bag. Love, love. There is um, some, um, like a wool wash to try. A little zipper pouch. <gasps> Feels like buttons. It is. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Look at this. <laughs> Every one of them is different. And it came in a little pouch. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. This Okay, y'all. Yeah, now this gives me heart palpitations because she has not received her package yet. And if you make you think, oh Lord, I hope she likes it. Look. Stitch markers. The little bunnies. I need these now. Oh wow. I was literally the other day making stitch markers because I needed them. And look. I love shop pins. And this is my favorite color. Sometimes this is like creepy when like people pick something and it really does match and it probably helps that I put like stuff that I like up everywhere but I don't think that's what it is because a lot of the people that I am in the parent with are not on YouTube and things like that which is helpful. This girl is trying to make me gain 50 pounds. Look! <laughs> oh! Milk chocolate and uh, uh, creamy caramel and roasted almond. I love my last Cadbury. And then my family, they were trying to eat all my chocolate. I got to go put these in the refrigerator because I like cold chocolate. And now for the coffee. I don't. I think this is Guatemala. Oh, it smells like a dark, good dark rose. Um, she said there was a coffee shop near her home, the Black Cow. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I want to have a pot, I mean a cup right now. And then candles. And it smells just like hot spring. <laughs> <This is my laughs> smells just like the real thing. I do agree. Ladies and gents, this is my box. I'm going to have to hide because I'm not sharing any of my... Let me take that back. Last time, because the Cadbury bars, you know, have the individual breaks, I do let, you know, because they like to try with me. Oh, this is a birthday card. Oh, the color for that magnetized yarn is discontinued. Oh. Many candles, countless joys. I, like, I think... These things... 
things always blow me away. And this time, Lord knows. Okay, first of all, I love little snacks like this because while I knit, I can have them and they don't mess with your yarn. You know, it's like... Girl, you are me snacking, snacking, snacking. I can get this too. I'm going to put those on top. I need to get this coffee. So, with that all said... How many of you have read this or have this? I recall a designer, and I cannot remember, mentioning this book. And I even believe, I think there was once a really pretty, it is, this, 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 this. I saw somebody make one of these on Ravelry and they said I wait that particular one I I love reading people's notes even though I do awful notes on there and she mentioned that it was influenced by this book and that's when I looked up the book and I I just didn't know it was a annual thing. Look at this. I want that is something but it's written like, it's written like a book. Well, no, take that back. This is all pattern. <laughs> okay, let me go because I'm just, I hope you all, and I'm still looking because I'm trying to see the stuff in here. I hope you all have enjoyed this. This is video number, and this is like totally awakening me now, and I'm so wanting to try this coffee. Video number three. Um, actually right as of this moment, I'm not signed up for another swap, but in the past I've loved participating in these two, um, the open, uh, season, and I keep saying, uh, forgive my brain, the open enrollment for the tea swap, I believe is coming up in the first part of May. And Somehow they don't just they don't always overlap, but one opens while one is about to we're about to ship out, and so um, I will um, definitely here it is. I will definitely come back uh, with whatever I have, and this. What do y'all think I should make? What do you think I should make? Of course, like I have all these projects now that I'm making for myself because when I receive these yarns. I have decided that I'm going to make things for myself. Um, the One of the other yarns that I received, I just found the pattern that I want to use. Um, the last, the yarn in the last um, box that I got here recently, that one, oh, oh, I'm opening it. <gasps> Look at this. Do you see this? Look at this. I'm going to hook my... Swift up. I'm looking. I should. I should have done a video when I um, winded, but I'm so super slow at setting up everything. I'm actually making a wind it up now, cause I don't want to. Okay, let me go. The yarn that she gave me in the last swap had a really high yardage. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna put it in here, back in the little bagging. And this, because I don't like mixing, so I gotta find something that goes with the yardage because I really don't care for mixing yarns. Oh. Okay, so that is it, my yarn. Let me know what suggestions you have. That is a little over 200 yards of yarn. Um, I received a wonderful pattern from someone for my birthday from a subby. Hey, girl, and thank you. And I think this would be 
perfect for that. I was going to use some other yarn and I realized that um, the yardage of that yarn, like it's quite a bit to where I would have some left over. So I wanted to maybe find a, uh, a larger project, but um, I know I may have to get over that whole uh, mixing yarns. I don't know. So tell me what you suggest. Now I'm wide awake and I have everything. Oh, this has little puppies on it. Little puppies. Little puppies. And how adorable are these buttons? I'm going to go take pictures so that I can put them up on the site. And um, let me know what your suggestions are for the yarn. Have you tried the Mad Magnetosh? I can't, oh, I can't even say it. And I didn't even realize to right now when she wrote in the note that I put, I listed it in my questionnaire. And I did that questionnaire a while ago. And then to hear the ladies talking about it at the knitting um, knit shop. Because I I think at the time, it, the, the woman at the front desk or that works there was knitting with us and said, I believe she said it could take six months or something like that before they receive orders, that particular yarn shop actually has a waiting list to order that yarn. And they um, they email the people on the list when they're about to, to um, have it, which is amazing to me. Who knows? If I fall in love with it, I'd be sitting right now on the list too. So, <laughs> okay, I have to go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Give me your suggestions of what you think I can make with that yarn. Have you used it? It isn't the color dreamy. So put them in the comment section. I um, have so much coming up. And I told you all in the last video, so I won't remind you again, especially with this bad lighting, and it makes me look like I have a beard. I don't, because the screen is here, so it's blocking me. So I gotta go. Um, talk to you all hopefully sooner than later. Take care and um, I'll see you all in the comment section. Bye.